Hello dear friends! This video is about a day we spent in uh, July uh, 2020. Uh, I've only gotten the time to edit this uh, video now in uh, 2021. Uh, yet it's uh, such a sweet video because in that day we decided uh, to go explore mostly inland areas because it was a cloudy summer day and we felt there is nothing to do at home and then we decided why not we'll go and discover something inland that we haven't been so in that day uh, we drove our car aimlessly in a direction that we chose spontaneously and um, we drove around it was so gorgeous the landscapes you know with the clouds uh, it looked really beautiful uh, the colors have changed a little bit because definitely with the clouds are there you know the light is different Uh, suddenly, in the middle of our drive, we uh, remembered a place that we really wanted to go that we haven't gotten the chance to explore yet, and it's uh, the uh, ancient olive tree of Voves. So we drove back and we, we have uh, entered the name in Google Maps, we, uh, followed the directions and we found it. Your destination is on the right. The area was lovely. Uh, it's so lush and so green and the olive tree is so gorgeous. This tree is uh, approximately 2,000 to 4,000 years old. Uh, it's so beautiful because it's uh, the, the trunk of this tree, it looks different because of grafting. It's a principle where they uh, direct the roots in a way on the trunk in a way while growing to grow a certain way. So someone has done this long ago, thousands of years ago, uh, to make this uh, beauty, this tree. It's so beautiful and uh, it looks really so perfect. This tree still produces uh, olives and olive oil until date. And you can buy the produce of this tree in the museum where uh, we're headed uh, next. It, it's located right next to the tree. They have uh, uh, renovated an old uh, house and uh, they made uh, the museum of the olive uh, over there. You can see um, the equipments they have used uh, for centuries uh, uh, to collect the olives and to press uh, the olives to make the olive oil and uh, many small and big things that is related to olive oil. Even they have a menu of the olive oil uh, dishes that they use in Greece. 
um, just a little hint for example I use olive oil in everything even baking cake and cookies and you name it I use olive oil of course if I want to mix it with butter I don't use a vegetable oil definitely so here at the museum it's really beautiful and rustic and it's uh, decorated with uh, uh, local artworks by artists who have olive uh, the olive tree as a subject matter After this, uh, like a couple of hours, you know, checking things out, uh, we decided to take it easy and just have a coffee. And uh, we sat at this cafe next to the tree, it's right next to the tree. And we had our frappe. And we just took it easy, looking at these uh, beautiful surroundings. And because we are here in this video, we are in uh, 2020, not to forget uh, in that uh, year, at that time in July, most of the world was still in lockdown. So it felt really uh, surreal, you know, to be in the outdoors and uh, to enjoy uh, a coffee outside. And um, nature has given us a small uh, gift, uh, trained. I, I love rain, I feel it cleanses the soul. So we enjoyed this uh, little bit of rain in the middle of the summer. And uh, we took it easy really that afternoon, you know, it was very uh, chilled. that day this wasn't the only activity we've done my husband and I we uh, went to uh, discover a winery that we heard about but we haven't been there before so we uh, drove uh, to that destination after this and uh, to see that winery you can uh, check my next uh, video it's called Anoskeli and it's such a sweet lovely winery the, their wines are amazing and they make olive oil as well so that was such a beautiful end of the day because uh, also they serve a little bit of bites with the wine and it was perfect. Uh, you can check the video in my channel. for joining me on this little uh, memory of last year's uh, cloudy rainy day in the summer thank you for watching and see you next time